Howdy! How's it going everybody? Uh, Peter here with OpenPC, OpenPC Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to properly encode in 3D so that it will show up on Android, like uh, your, whether you, it's just your Android phone or specifically the YouTube VR app for Android which works on like Cardboard, Daydream, and the Oculus Go. TLDW, video description. For the rest of you, let's get into it. Okay, after a lot of is this the right one? Okay. After a lot of trial and error uh, and giving up many times and then starting over again and researching hours and hours of researching and testing, I found the proper way to encode 3D file 3D video files for display on Android. Um, I found a way that was working on everything but Android. Well, there is one thing that was missing. What was missing is that you have to encode your video files in 3D full side by side. Not half side by side, full by full side by side. Now, if you do half side by side and you have the correct me metadata, it'll work everywhere but Android. Android requires the original video file to be full side by side. Don't know why. Okay, let's see. I wrote tons of notes because I'm totally ADD and I just can't randomly talk to the camera. Well, I can, but I'll drone on and on. Okay, I have created some bat files. Uh, this is uh, with FFmpeg. I've created some bat files. You can use them to drag and drop your video file. You So what you do is you encode your video file in whatever 3D video encoding program you have and you output that as full side by side and then you just drag and drop the video file onto my bat file uh, which uses FFmpeg in the same directory. You have to not have any spaces in the file name or in the path to and from the video file and it'll work fine. Alright so uh, you can just download this file 3dencoding.zip and it will have all these files in it and if you've already encoded this one. If you've already encoded your video file and it's full side by side, you can just drag and drop it onto this one, 3D metadata MKV file. For example, let's see this test one right here. I just drag and drop. It'll encode. Actually, it's not encoding, it's just wrapping it in an MKV container and injecting the proper metadata. So it's extremely fast, it doesn't re-encode, and as soon as it's done, you can upload it to YouTube, and it'll work in Android, if your video file is originally full side-by-side. -side. Oops, I, nope, I selected the wrong one. I selected a huge video file. How you doing, kiddo? Are you recording? Yep. <laughs> How you doing? Good. I love you. I'm going back in the cave. They're looking for blood worms. They're looking for blood worms? Yeah, you remember that episode? Yes, I remember that one. Where it creeps on you? Yeah. I used to bought that if you see ya. See ya. He's watching Coyote Peterson Brave Wilderness on YouTube. Okay. So, uh, that was the wrong one. Here we go. Thumper. No one. Drag and drop 3D metadata. Wraps it, bam, it's done. Little shameless plug from my YouTube channel. And uh, let's see, there it is. There's the MKV file right there. So what are these other bad files for? I'll show you. Now, this one was originally rendered in half side by side. Half side by side. So if you, if you can't re-render your video file, like maybe your original files are gone, and you want to, and you wish you could re-upload your file to YouTube. Maybe you have your your final video that you did, but it's in half side by side. You can just drag and drop this to one of these other bat files that will convert it from half side by side to full. Uh, there's two different kinds. Well, actually, there's CPU ones, and there's uh, NVIDIA encoder ones. If you have a supported NVIDIA card it will do it on the GPU which is much faster and I highly recommend it if not it's okay so um, this one 
will encode it using the NVIDIA GPU to H264. Uh, this one will encode it to H265, which means smaller file size at the same or better quality. And so if it's a smaller file, of course, it's quicker to upload. And these two do the same thing, but they use the CPU. If you don't have a supported NVIDIA card or you just want to use your CPU instead, um, that's what those two do. They, they do that. They convert it from half side by side to full side by side. Um, and these two down here, they convert uh, a, an H.264 video file to an H.265. So again, smaller file size, same or better quality, faster uploading to YouTube. Uh, for example, um, the video editing application I use for 3D most of the time is PowerDirector. And on the 3D output, there is no H.265 option, it's only H.264. And there's a reason for that probably, which is H.265 does not support 3D metadata. H.264 does. So, but check this out. Here's the cool thing. Even though H.265 does not support 3D metadata, you can use one of these files, one of these bat files down here, to re-encode your H.264 video file into an H.265 video file, and it will then wrap it into an MKV container and it will contain the proper 3D metadata. So it's a really cool hack because the content inside the file doesn't support it, but the container you're putting it in does, so therefore it works. So therefore you can have a great quality video file, it's much smaller, and it's quicker to upload to YouTube. So that's what I would recommend. All right, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I hope that this video can really help people who want to put out 3D content on YouTube. There's not a lot of, I think, fans of real 3D content, but I'm one of them. They do exist, and I hope that this will enable people, as of right now, January 4th, 2019, this is the only way I have found to successfully upload YouTube videos in 3D. I mean, like, I once encoded a side-by-side -side video, put the correct metadata in it, and I uploaded it, and it was it worked in 3D. Uh, it was half side-by-side, -side, and it just happened to work in 3D. I don't know why. And then I took that same file that I had uploaded, I uploaded it to another one of my channels, and it didn't show up in 3D. So this is the only way that I found that actually works. So hopefully you guys can be inspired by this, those of you who have been searching for this information. I don't know why it's so difficult. YouTube has a page on how to get your video properly encoded in 3D and it doesn't work. None of the information there works and I found nobody who says it works. So again, I uh, hope you guys find this useful. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. But if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, say hi, post some videos, check out the description, it has a lot more information and I will catch you guys later. Thanks.